Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Zoom Playground. I'm your host, Betsy Sabatini, and today it's all about branding your Zoom waiting room. In this video, I'm gonna give you a process of customizing your Zoom waiting room and adding that special touch that reflects your brand identity. The waiting room is what your Zoom participants see before being admitted to the main meeting room. I'm gonna show you how to display a logo, an image, even a video. And before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on all of these latest tips and tutorials. Let's dive in. All right, so your branding inside the Zoom waiting room starts here in your settings. And you're gonna wanna do this prior to starting any of your meetings. You can set up a waiting room message with your logo, with an image, or even a video. But all of this setup needs to happen prior to the start so that when people click that link, if you've turned on the waiting room, they will see what I'm about to show you. So here we are at the Zoom web portal at zoom.us and we're in the settings area and in the security category. And right here under waiting room options, you're gonna click on customize waiting room. And that's going to bring up the customized waiting room window where notice on the left-hand side, you have these options. You can use either the default screen, which is this very common Zoom logo, that you might see in many Zoom meetings that you join. Oftentimes though, if you opt for this default screen, and actually if you've never come in here, people are most likely seeing your default screen. Sometimes people don't know that they're in the right place. They don't really notice that there is text that can appear at the top, but they don't really notice that and they just see Zoom and they think sometimes they may not have clicked the appropriate link. So I advise you to brand accordingly and you're gonna choose down the left-hand side. You can pick logo and description and what happens next is you get on the left-hand sidebar, you get a title box, text box at the top, and what you put there shows up in the middle of the screen in bold. And then you have a text box at the bottom where you can add another little paragraph if you have instructions for them that they need to do. You can see here, I've added even an emoji, a little gold star, it really brings attention to that. And then right in the middle, if you wanted to, you can see where it says upload logo. Just make sure you follow the graphic formats that are indicated indicated below there. The next indication of branding I'm going to show you is an image. So on the left hand side there where you click an image, you can bring up something that is static, a static image, whether it's a JPEG or a PNG and something that shows maybe your face as in here. So they would definitely know they're in the right place if they see a picture of you. And once you add that in, you can see mine's already showing. It will show there on the left-hand side where it says the file name. And then if you had to change it, there is a little tiny up arrow. You can see there where I'm about to click it. It says upload another image. So you could change this at any time. Just make sure you change it ahead of starting the next Zoom meeting. And then you can remove it with a little X. The last way to brand your Zoom waiting room is, I would say, my recommended way for you because video is everything. And when people watch you in a video, they see your face, they hear your voice, they know they're in the right place, they get instructions from you, and they start that bond with you before they even enter your Zoom meeting. And when you click on video, you'll see here that on the left-hand side as well, you either are given the opportunity to upload if you haven't done so already. Upload just means it will want to know where the file is. So you will need to have recorded the video already. Place that in a folder. And when you come in here, just navigate to where you save that folder and upload it into here from your local computer into your Zoom account. Now notice underneath, there are some specific file limitations that you must follow. And those are indicated here. The file size is very important. Videos tend to be extremely large. Media, video media are extremely large as opposed to graphics. So you do want to make sure that you get that in. Now I create my own video, which you see here. So once you load the video in, you can even play it and the video shows up. This is what they're going to see when they enter your Zoom waiting room and they're waiting for your event to start. So you can see it previewed there. Now notice along the top in the little banner, it says, please use volume icon. I wrote that text and that's shown in the top left corner in the left sidebar in this little area. You'll want to indicate to them because in the bottom right corner, when the video plays, it is muted for privacy and also aesthetically pleasing. You don't want necessarily, depending on where they are, in their home office or regular office, they may not want the volume 
of the video playing out loud. So you might want to indicate to them that to, in order to hear its music background or your voiceover, that they would click the volume icon. And after you have uploaded the video into your waiting room window, just make sure you click that save button in the bottom left corner. If in my case, the video is already in there and you're just going in here to check, you won't have to save again if you haven't made any changes. But make sure if that save button is lit up, you wanna make sure you click it to save the changes. Now, once the video is in there, you'll be able to play it. Let me show you an example of a waiting room video that I use for my membership, the Virtual Business Collective. And so this is a great way to act as a promo uh, with your logo. You can see here as the video is playing, and this is what they will see while they're waiting for you to admit them into the main meeting room. So if it's something, a message that you want them to know about, you can use a video just like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be you looking at the camera and speaking speaking to them, but you can make videos like this on your own in, in applications such as Canva. And if you want to know more about that or contact me directly, just look at the description in this video and there's a link that you can find me over on social media and we can have a discussion about how you use other programs to make video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Remember, your Zoom waiting room is your digital doorstep, so make it count. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss anything that I bring to you in the form of Zoom tips, tricks, and techniques. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Until next time, Again, I'm Betsy Sabatini. Stay engaged, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.